What is up guys, it's Nick here from Dot, and today I'm going to talk about Animate. Now Animate is a CSS library designed by Daniel Aiden. He can check his website, the link will be in the below. He's a very fine designer and love the Animate.CSS to use in my project. Now what is Animate.CSS? Now Animate.CSS is a library. And what I meant by library, just a predefined CSS that you have to actually use it yourself. You don't have to worry about writing the whole CSS yourself, you just have to use it. And that's the main thing library offers you. Now, why to use it? The question comes here. Now, you, if you are in uh, the field of web designing and you're designing in front end about two to three years, you will know that you have to write the codes again and again for the animation, for cool new animation stuffs. And now you have to stop doing that to save your time use libraries it's pretty efficient way to code and there's no copyright issues and there's nothing to pay for it's a completely free library to use for so before i dive right into the tutorial just wanted to know you can come on the animate.css main website and you can go and uh, get the documentation from here you can view it on github the whole documentation will be there or you can just go and download animate.css and it's a simple easy process to download it just click on animate.css download you can see it just 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 load it. Just uh, use it as just link it in your HTML file, and that's all you're good to go. Now for this case, I'm not going to use a uh, normal simple editor. I'm going to use Code Pen Online Text Editor or IDE, and that will be easy for sake for this tutorial. So before just uh, quickly get started with Code Pen, I'll just let you know how to add animate.css in your project. So you can see I have here is I have a simple setup here of code pen, nothing much here. I can go into settings in the new pen. I can go in JavaScript. Uh, I simply add a jQuery here. You can see just go to quick add. So it's going to below quick add. I'm going to use jQuery, so that's why I didn't use a jQuery. And in the CSS, I simply I can do is the same thing. I can go below. I can add animate.css just check this out it's already present you just tap on it animate.css will be added hit save and close and that's it you're good to go you set up now, let you know what's happening inside my html now inside the html i have is i have a diff class button not much that's it and so the css the simple bit of css properties i'm using i'm hiding with a background a relative position property and a bit of a margin uh, that's it you can see there's nothing happening when I click on it and want it to animate that's why I'm using animate library so to do that we're going to use JavaScript on uh, the jQuery now that's how to start now to start uh, I want the animation to happen at when the page is completely loaded and to do that we're going to use dot ready property and in, that's what to do is inside that is going to take a function and inside the function everything goes inside our function so everything happening or when the page is ready everything is going to execute later on if the page is not ready if you do anything nothing's going to happen that's just a safety check we can do now we can do is we're going to target this button because we want to animate it on click so dot button and dot click then ha you know guys I think I uh, you know the basic jQuery uh, I assume that so that's all happening and inside that we're gonna go for the function oops mm, yep so inside them we go for the function and that's I can save that here now inside the function I'm gonna go is I'm gonna target this button directly and add a class that now before I go any further I just let you know how, what's happening here now how animate works actually it just takes add class and remove class that's all that's all it does and then all the classes are predefined in the CSS file you just have to do is add a class and animate it and remove class that's all you have to do you don't have to worry about much now so let's simply go for adding a class you'll have to you add two classes for that one animated which is compulsion you have to add animated in every class or every object you want to animate this is the primary class you have to add it to every object you want to animate and then the type of animation you want no. 
we're gonna check it later on what the types of animation but just simply quickly just add bounds for this time I'll save it see there's no error happening in here so I think it's gonna work so let's save and see it's working that's right it's working that's great I think we're all good to go but wait before we go you can see I can click it again see what happens nothing's happening that's the main issue why isn't it happening anything now I'll just like refresh the page for you guys and I'll just quickly open up the console for a second and if you don't know how to open a console just go F12 uh, the console and I can just go is simply check this element out you can, you know. so you can see uh, here's a dev we find it actually and this you can see there's a single class button so let's see what happens when you click on it see it's an uh, javascript automatically added animated and bumps in it now what's what happening if i click it again see nothing because all these classes are already present in here and we don't want it to uh, we want it to animate again we want to an add a class again and again but uh, the class actually exist so what to do and now the proper way is to remove the class but we don't know when the animation ends to do that there's one way that is, uh, animate provides you a way to get the animation and uh, let you know when the, when the animation ends and do something after that so to do that it's just simple I'll just close the console click here I'll just go for this dot now this there's a one uh, now what is this actually uh, a jake for event that allow you to do a end of the animation to get an end of animation there's two ways I'm just gonna go for type the whole string there's a lab string here or else I'll just go on in animate.css and github see there's a dot one method to get the animation Let's see see there's a dot one method to get the animation ends so you can detect when animation is here so the comp this, I'll just copy the whole string here it's like I'm not gonna type that the whole complete string and I'm gonna paste inside that and I'm gonna go to comma and I'm gonna go for the function which what I want to do now I'm gonna do is simply I'm gonna remove class uh, this dot remove class and I'm just gonna remove the bounds because I don't want to remove animated I don't want to add it again and again I just want to remove bombs so let's see what happens if I click on it see it's it's perfect it's working right see I can click multiple times and it's working and that's when that's all what I wanted now there's a more efficient way to write this thing you just have to like go just cut this string out you don't need it you can go uh, beyond here I just like variable and I and I'm and is equal oops, is equals to the whole complete string, and I'm just gonna copy this anim and and then paste inside. Oops. Here. And I and that's it. So let's hope it's work again. So there's no error. So it's working. So now. Let's take a look on multiple effects of what we have for animate. So you can go on animate.css main website here. And simply you can do is just check out all the animations these guys have. It's a lot of list in here. So I'll simply go for like swing. Oh sorry, tada. And see, that's what that is what it animation is. I'll have to simply do is uh, I can go and tada. I can go in the bounce. I can add tada. And I have to edit that again here. So let's see what happens. See the animation working. So you can see if I have to edit the animation, I have to edit both in up here and even below here. So I can do is simply store that in a variable. And as a string, so variable anim, and I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna copy the whole string here. Cut it out. Paste in here. Oops. Cut it out. I'll just quickly go here, paste it in, and save it. Now what I'll do here is simply pass as an argument anim, and same here. See, 
let's see what happens right now. So if, if now I want to change the animation, so what we can do is we can come in here, we can select any animation you want, like Jello. We can come in here, just simply instead of data, I'll use Jello. And see what, let's see what happens. Hey, it's working, right? That's fine. It's correct. And that's the grid. That's correct. That's all you want to know about animate.cs and how to do it. Now, there are a lot of, com there are a lot of complex things you can create rather than this example I have set up. It's a pretty basic example to get you set up. That's nothing more than that. So I have some example for you that I created on my own and you can that you can do using animate.css. Now for the UI element you can do is uh, in the form element say if I want some name and the user doesn't enter anything so to make her attention on that text file on the input what you can do is just if I press it empty you can see it's animating and it's uh, letting user know that you didn't enter the name and that's one of the main that's one of the thing that you can do with animate.css I did the same thing just instead of targeting this I just targeted uh, the input and instead of the animation I used a different animation that's all what I did see that's that's all that's what I did and it's just like inter, inter, uh, that and it's not going to not going to do that it's just going to go for the next thing that's it you can check this out example the link will be in the below and you can just check it out yourself then the code will be available below now here's one more example that I got for you guys now it's a pretty uh, a bit of a complex if you think but it's a lot easy to create you can see it's a content slider you can check this out it's all based on animate.css and you, you can even do is you can change the effect uh, right now for the example if we go to fade in click on that you can see now, you can do is you can create the, uh, this much complex slider with the complex effect without any writing any few lines of code just adding class removing class you can check the example here what I did you can see there are a lot of effect happening here now the now the profit with this slider is like it's gonna work with all the effect present in here see, there are a lot of effects I just use few of them in the example but you can use a lot and just like slide in right but you can use a lot of effects to use this that's you can say check this out yourself so check this out yourself this two example I brought for you guys it's uh, not much but I think it will get you started with animate.css if you are mediocre with the CSS then too that's fine but if you don't know much about the CSS guys I'll be pretty sure I'll just let know the basics about animation and animate that uh, animation and transform properties of CSS3 and that will help you out understanding what's happening here basically and if you don't know about much about jQuery just don't worry about it just it's simply jQuery you'll have learned just, just uh, go for a few of the jQuery tutorials and that's all you will get to go so that's it guys for this tutorial I think you guys find it useful I'm not gonna go and spoon feed everything this to you guys and I just want you to guys get creative with yourself just let me know what you created with this example this is what I did and I hope you guys did something just create it on put it on code pen and send me the link I definitely love to watch what you guys created with the tutorial to watch and I'll be very 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 interested in seeing what you guys did so that's it guys thanks for watching this tutorial nick here thanks for the subscribe we recently reached 5000 subs 5k thanks for all the love you guys thanks for the love and support uh, keep on supporting us if you like this video give us a thumbs up uh, go and watch uh, my other tutorials that'll if you find it useful and just follow us on facebook twitter that's it guys see you along and hope you find guys find it useful so that's it guys, signing out, Nikia.